Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 23rd, 2023. Well, clearly we had a rough day on Friday selling into the close, and now we're showing a substantial gap down here this morning in the market. What does that mean? Well, first off, let's take a look at what we've got going on overnight. Overnight, European markets, uh, excuse me, Asian markets were uh, down across the board overnight, pretty ugly in the sell-off. We have European markets also uh, red across the board here this morning. We have uh, bonds moving, the bond yields moving higher. We've got the 10-year bond above 5%, not a good sign for the market. And we have oil showing just a ever so slightly lower here this morning. So kind of a mix of data, but obviously that 10 year bond going over 5% is creating quite a little bit of bearishness here in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, try to remove a bias, see if we can decide how we might um, approach the market for today by looking at these charts. Well, first off, taking a look here, as you can see, pushing down here pretty strongly in the diamonds, uh, a possible double bottom. This is quite the rejection up here in the chart in that resistance area, just burying itself down here. But we will want to notice that possibility of a double bottom. So what that means is, is we could begin to see a relief rally here at any time. Um, so watch carefully for that. If the bears, however, find inspiration here on the day, well, I'm going to suggest we still have that possibility that we could go a bit lower here, testing some support levels down in here with a big bearish push. If we can break down through that level, you can see there is a little bit of a price level down in here somewhere around 323 area of the chart. So keep an eye on that. If the bulls, however, can find inspiration here on the day, and, and I think there may be some reason, I'm gonna build a little bit of a case of a relief rally possibility here this morning. And if you watch right here, that possibility, if we could bounce in this area, maybe pop back up into here into uh, some of these resistance areas, of the chart. Now that doesn't mean we don't go lower before we get a little bit of relief, but just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our SPY. Old, old SPY here breaking down through support. Boy, we held and held and held in here trying to hold those October lows. And unfortunately, um, this morning we're going to give those up and gap lower here this morning. And if you all remember, I've talked about that idea. This might be um, the bigger price support in the chart of the SPY. And um, although we are making a new low here, that doesn't mean um, this can't ultimately end up as kind of a W type formation bottom and we catch a little bit of relief then to the upside. Now, first off, let's look at the bear side. If the bears continue to push, you can see we're right down here on this big level of price support. If we were to break on lower from here, you can see that there are some support areas in here. They're not super strong, but there is some price support just a little bit lower in here. So if the bears continue to push, maybe push down a little bit more. And if we break down through there, it's going to get really ugly here in the market. I think we're going to see some um, big breakdowns if that were the case. So watch carefully for that possibility. However, if this turns out to be one of the lows, let's look for a bounce back up and we might start coming up in here to retest that area of the chart first. And if we can pop through there, then we're pushing up here for that next area of resistance here in the SPY. Let's take a look at our 
uh, technicals here in the chart. Clearly, we're very, very bearish here in the market, but we're below our 200-day moving average. We're coming into that 500-day moving average in a fairly substantial area of price support. So a relief rally in here could be in the cards. We'll want to watch carefully for that. And I failed to mention in the diamonds or technicals, extremely bearish here. You can see um, prices well below 200 day, below the 500 day, the, the 34 EMA is coming down through the 200 day, and that 50 day is rapidly declining. So even in a relief rally um, situation, we may rally back up into this area of the chart, and we're gonna run into a massive technical problem here in the diamonds. Let's take a quick look at our QQQ. Now our QQQ, obviously very bearish as well, and we had held and held and held on this level right in here. We didn't take out those August lows, and uh, well, now we're doing that here this morning in the pre-market. So keep a close eye on this. We don't have that same W type formation in here to be watching in the QQQ, but we do have companies starting to come out from under their blackout period, and we have a big week of big tech earnings reports coming up. So we'll want to be watching this very, very closely. If the bears, if the bears continue to find inspiration here on the day, I'm going to suggest we might come down into this area of the chart. You can see there's some nice price support areas in there, but it's not super strong. If that were to fail, then I'm suggesting we could come down hard in the NASDAQ. And there certainly is that possibility based on earnings reports. If we happen to have some of these big techs miss earnings reports, we could really see a fall in the QQQ. And the reason I say that is because we really didn't put any good support levels in this chart. Um, on the way up. We just raced to the upside, just assuming that AI was going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread, and maybe it is. But um, that being said, if we have some misses on these big techs, we could fall hard in here, devaluing some of those um, um, really high PE ratios that we see in the market. Now, I don't wanna say that's the case. I'm just saying the possibility does exist. So if we were to fall down into this area and fall through there, that's where that ugly could really come into the market. But if the bulls can find inspiration here today and bounce up off of here, notice that we do have that little tail right in there that could provide us a little bit of a bottom uh, pattern here. So if we start the relief rally today, Watch that carefully for this resistance to see if we can bounce back through there. And if we can, then we might surge right on up into this next level of price resistance over the next couple, three days. So watch that carefully if the bulls can grab a hold here for a relief. Let's take a look at the technicals here on the QQQ. Obviously pretty bearish, but not nearly as bearish as the other indexes. And you can see we've got an accumulation of moving averages right in this zone right here that are going to provide some resistance as we push back up. So watch that carefully as we approach that downtrend in the chart. We'll wanna be paying attention to that. Let's take a look at our um, IWM. Now IWM has been by far the most bearish of the indexes and holy moly, continues to be that on Friday, falling right through these price support levels, and we're moving even lower here this morning. So I had placed a support level maybe down in here on the chart, and if we continue to see those bears push, I think that is a possibility that we might gain a little support in that area of the chart. If we bounce in this area, that does worry me a little bit. If the bulls step in and bounce before we test a support, because it's kind of like a mid-air level. We're just kind of floating in mid-air. And if that were to occur, then it, it makes me a little bit nervous that we could bounce up and then retest that low down there. But that being said, if the bulls can grab a hold of this, start pushing up, we'll want to watch this resistance up here first 
see if we can bounce up through there and if we can then we'll start worrying about these next levels in the chart on the Russell by far the most bearish of the indexes right now and technically this is horrible 50s down through the 200 what they call the death cross um, everything in here is ugly but it's so ugly it might be giving us that little bit of hint that a relief rally is coming at any time let's take a look at our VIX our VIX obviously very bearish here we popped up here on friday uh, through in the into the close we broke through this 20 almost 21 handle area well we did go over 21 handles here in the vix but more importantly we broke through a fairly substantial level of price resistance in the chart excuse me and if we are to um, hold this and see that bearishness here the mo this morning we could easily spike this move here in um, the VIX as that fear comes in which really does suggest we could go lower yet so just please keep in mind even though I'm trying to build this little um, case of a relief rally coming at any time that doesn't mean we can't go lower if the bulls however grab a hold of this and um, start pushing back in a relief rally look for that to push back into um, some of these price support levels and see if we can hold and maybe even pushing on back to retest that uh, trend line so watch that close let's take a look at our t2122 this might be our very best indicator of a relief rally coming along. We are buried here on our T2122, selling into the close. The worry over the Israeli war going into Friday, um, going into the weekend, really put, had the bears pile on here, pushing us to the downside. And I think what we've got is, I think we've got our CTA computers um, out there um, are probably max short at the moment which means that they could continue to hold that and push us on lower but it also means if they start to short cover you would expect those CTAs to really start unloading quickly on a short cover move to protect capital and if that were the case we could um, actually build a nice um, short squeeze here in the market somewhere over the next few days so watch that carefully here obviously we don't have a whole lot further that we can go down here in our t2122 there there is always that possibility we could continue to sink with momentum on some bearish news but please keep in mind we also have a very big opportunity to the upside if they can get triggering um, that short squeeze up so watch carefully there our uh, t2108 t2108 obviously bearish here only 18 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average but if there is some good news here you'll notice if I draw this line across here we didn't make a new low in t2108 which is kind of remarkable con considering the pressure that we saw here but we're still holding on to that price support and that possibility that this could be kind of that w formation here in the chart that we might catch that little bit of relief to the upside so watch that carefully please remember as we rally we're going to be rallying into significant resistance levels uh, in this chart so don't get the idea that we're just going to zoom all the way back to new highs in the market we've got to start breaking some of these resistance levels above then if we take a look at our t2107 T2107 did make new lows. We're extremely bearish, and we see that in the IWM chart on the small on the small caps anyway. That we are very very bearish, and you can see here big resistance level back to the upside. If we can get moving to the upside, we're going to have to break through that area here in the chart. And if those bears can, can, can are going to continue pushing to the downside, you know, I know everyone's hoping that there's no way we can go lower, but you can see in this chart, there's obviously lower levels that we could go to in T2107 if the bears keep pounding on the market. 
and those bond yields keep moving higher. So watch that closely. Under 30%, 28.5% of our stocks holding above their 200 day. Very bearish situation. And by the way, the downtrend does continue to exist here. If we take a look at our T2101, uh, our absolute market breadth, now, one of the things we saw on the selling the last couple of days here in the market, notice that the market breadth increased, but it didn't increase dramatically. Maybe just a little bit of a clue that the sellers are starting to wear out here. So we'll want to watch that carefully. What we want to see is if we get some kind of relief rally to the upside, we want to see that breadth expand. We want to see energy come into the market to the upside. So we'll want to be watching carefully for that. If this continues to extend on the bearish wave, that's going to be a bit of a problem for us because we really could pound this market lower um, if that were the case and, and true panic come into the market. So keep a close eye on T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, it's, it's not the biggest one uh, that we've seen for some time. And as a matter of fact, it's just pretty dead. You can see we've got Chicago National Activity Report here not likely to move the market but one to pay attention to um, here in the morning and you can see we've got a three month and a six month bond auction here so pretty light day on the economic calendar for today as you'll notice as we progress through the week we're going to have PMI composite here we've got new home sales and petroleum status but then then as we run into the end of the week, it's going to get a little bit um, funky on us with some bigger reports. We've got durable goods orders, GDP, international trade and goods, jobless claims, of course, pretty big numbers. And then on Friday, that personal incomes and outlays, that's that personal PCE number that the Fed likes so much. So watch that closely as we come into the end of the week. Um, but for today, pretty light day, and that may give us that opportunity if we can find something for the bulls to grab a hold of, might provide us that little opening for a bit of relief. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. And our earnings calendar, well, we've got a few um, items on here on the list, but not a whole lot of notables. Um, just simply because we're really going to be waiting for the big tech reports starting tomorrow. So let me run through these really qu quickly. Um, AGYS will be reporting today. Obviously very bearish. This could be an important report to see whether we're going to hold this support in here and maybe bounce up and try to attack that downtrend. ARE very much the same case. It'll be reporting today. BRO ugly ugly chart breaking down moving in a downtrend the only thing you can say here is oversold in the short term and maybe a relief rally um c-a-d-e um, very bearish here as well c-a-l-x will be reporting today cleveland cliffs will be reporting today we've got c-r reporting today MEDP is on the list, PKG is on the list, SSD on the list, WRB, and last but not least, WSFS. So keep an eye on those. Some of these regional banks have been moving down here recently as we look at the um, regional bank ETF, KRE making new lows here, and um, XLF also making some new lows here as the banks continue to suffer as these bond yields going up. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up here for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon. When it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful to your trading, helpful for the day, I do truly appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow more than anything else. It's the engagement with the video. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. And then also a huge shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link 
just below the title of the video. Thank you so much, everyone. I, I appreciate that so much. It, it means the world to me. Um, let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up. And remember, everyone, these are not um, uh, stocks. Uh, you should not be using these as a buy or sell decision. Um, just the fact that I bring them up doesn't mean that they're a buy. Make sure you're following your risk tolerances. They're just ideas of charts as they uh, potentially set up and you'll want to do your own due diligence make sure that they fit your risk tolerances you should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas so to start off with something we love to hate here in the world today and that is coal but take a look at coal coal's been holding in this nice little upside trend and as our energy prices continue to go up seems like there's been a little bit of a resurgence here in coal so keep an eye on btu trying to hold this trend possibly catch a little support i was hoping it would catch up here you can see i put a place to price alert and just that bearishness on on Friday pushing us down but I want to watch this area in here and see if this comes right back up and holds and looks for that upside move in BTU keep a close eye on that um, as you guys know I, I had watched this CRM I was hoping this would also hold that little higher low uh, not the case but not all is lost here yet we've got a pretty good level of price support and if we were to bounce in here and come up and then hold then I might be back on that case for CRN, if, CRM. If we break this support, I think all bets are off. I'm going to be looking for some downside move then in CRM. So watch that closely. Take a look at Intel. Intel kept trying, kept trying to break through this resistance in here. Failed, but, well, have we lost completely this opportunity? I don't think so just yet. Taking a look at Intel, remember it's gonna report on the 26th, so that could change everything. But you'll wanna watch this carefully. If we can find a little price support in that trend and bounce back up here, we just look for that next opportunity uh, for a higher low in here, and then we might have that opportunity to break through that resistance. And honestly, it may be earnings that mess that up completely. So watch that close. Take a look at some of these um, um, area uh, stocks in the telecommunication area of the market. AT and T, big pop here um, just the last week and pushing up through a major level of price resistance in the chart. Now these guys are really big dividend payers, and it may be just something to pay attention for a little bit of a longer term position. But breaking that downtrend in here pushing up hard if we can hold this higher low in here watch for that next opportunity maybe in AT&T for the upside could be some good moves in that chart um, you know AMD has been a chart that um, well kind of disappointed me I thought maybe I, I didn't trade it but I it disappointed me because I thought after breaking uh, this downtrend channel then it might hold in here in this higher low or uh, create that little higher low in this little uptrend that had been started here but not the case now with the big tech earnings reports coming up that certainly could change this attitude here pretty quickly so keep an eye on this if this were to make a higher low in here then we're recovering and I would look for a little bit of upside in the chart. It's also possible that we topped out in AMD here some time ago, breaking down through this support that we rally back a little bit, find that resistance and continue on lower. So um, this one could go any either way. Um, I just think sometimes the big tech earnings report can really um, add pressure to places in the market that you wouldn't expect and AMD is one of those that may be in that possibility for that upside move. Boy, I would be remiss if I didn't mention anything in um, energy. If we take a look at XLE, whoops, got to type the right symbol, XLE pulling back here the last couple of days, but we're coming into some price support. You'll want to note that we broke out of that downtrend and this might be right where we can hold that price support here in the chart. 
watch that carefully if we can find some buyers in here to push that up off of that area you can see we've got a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be forming here on energy so clicking over here there are just lots and lots of stocks um, that have pushed up into resistance pulling back here in Conoco but may still have that upside opportunity we've got Schlumberger again there's that downtrend break we're trying to hold that support area and you can see that inverted head and shoulders pattern possibility in that chart so there's a lot of these charts out there um, starting to look um, interesting we just also got news of um, 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 Hess is being taken over um, so you'll want to be keeping an eye on um, some of these stocks. Sometimes um, acquisitions can provide a little bit of energy to um, a, a sector of the market. And so watch that carefully. So with that, everyone, I'm running this video a little bit long. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I don't want to suggest that there is a relief rally coming, but I think there's hints out there. So watch that carefully if that starts. Um, I know looking at the market and when we're gapping down like this in the morning, you just feel like all bearish and ugly on Monday morning. But it's also one of those times that we want to start watching for that possibility of a relief um, back to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. I want to wish you all the very, very best in your trading today. Thank you so much for listening. Have an awesome one. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the very best.